You know when you uh, get up in the morning and you go somewhere to uh, take photos, there's always that sort of sense of excitement, hope. Well, when you go out and it's absolutely pitch black dark and you can't even see what it is that you hope to take a photo of, it's uh, 10 times stronger at least. Uh, but the conditions were just so perfect for one of those ideas I had that I had to uh, had to go for it. So I've got a big torch in my hand here. Uh, you'll find out why in a minute. Okay, so I'm just getting towards the end of the first exposure, which will have been 40 minutes. Uh, HP5 at 800, F8. Um, what I did was I got my big torch and I shun it on the subject and flashed it around to light it up because uh, that's worked for me on a previous shot I did down on Land's End but the subject itself does look so amazing against this um, slight silhouette background it's silhouetted against the background which you just cannot see at the moment that I'm really tempted to have another go another 40 minutes without actually um, lighting up the subject at all just you know let nature take its course I'm going to start with uh, HP5 and uh, it's looking like uh, something like um, F22, two seconds. I've just checked for reciprocity on HP5 on two seconds. Should be okay, I think. Let me check. And we're just going for a pano shot on this. This will be a pano crop. Should get something today. Oh, stunning. So things are just progressing all the time. I've uh, decided to do two more sheets of HP5 and I'm going to try one with an orange filter and one with a red filter. It's just spectacular skies. Hopefully I can just pull out even more, more drama from it. I've kind of a bit overindulged on this shot to be honest with you. I've thrown two more sheets at it than I really wanted to but it's just, oh, just, just looks so good. I don't want to take any chances. Yeah, let's just do this. So I've metered basically 
just below middle grey on the building. The sky's coming up just around zone eight and a half. Grass, one stop below middle grey, something like that. And I metered through the filter, so I've got a polarizer with it as well. Polarizer and an orange filter. F32 to 45, half a second. So that Sheet 9 HP5 orange filter. So glad I got out of bed this morning. And I'm going to do the same thing on sheet 10, but with a red filter. Okay, so it's, it's morning number two, and um, it was a rough night last night sleeping in the van. The van was rattling around. I woke up so many times, uh, but I made the decision to leave the 4x5 in the van and bring my Hasselblad with me. Uh, I may end up cropping some of the images to, to get the look I was looking for, but I'm into this. I mean, you know, photography-wise, I'm quite liking the idea of getting something a little bit more grungy from this place got some HP5 still in the film holder which is or film back which is uh, ISO 800 so it's going to be grainy okay so this is a fail uh, for three reasons one the light wasn't that good I should have been more patient secondly the the tide was coming up so fast I just had no time to focus it properly and it's fuzzy and thirdly the iFootage tripod, as lovely as it is, the spikes on it are absolutely useless. And it was I could just see that you know, I had lots of issues with the um, tripod wobbling around on the marsh. So I'm just shooting this one here, it caught my eye. Unfortunately, when I got here, there was a stack of birds on that uh, telegraph pole, but of course, most of them have now gone. Uh, this is 60mm uh, F11. Um, F11 to 16, one eighth of a second. I might just sit around for a bit and see if the birds come back, but I'll take this one now. Red filter. Yes, I know it's a bit cliche, but there's some groins. You can't walk past them without taking a photo, can you? Quite into this one actually. It looks so razor sharp through the lens on the 150 mil. Let's just give this a go. Ooh, need to think about filters, whether I'm gonna bother or not. Not sure, have, have a think. So I just shot this one here on, um, on the 60 mil F16, 1 15th of a second with an orange filter. I'm just loving all those deep shadows in between uh, on where the, uh, the, the water has pushed the gravel up just looks really nice through the glass uh, yeah beautiful really happy with that fingers crossed okay we're finished I've done two days I don't think I need a third day I'd almost rather leave a couple of things unfinished it gives me an excuse to come back here sometime I really want to bring my wife here and uh, stay at the hotel up there yeah, it's about a three hour drive for me, so it's not too far. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and um, might see you here again sometime reasonably soon.